I'd like to welcome you all here. We're very proud of this country, but there was a, a very tragic event that happened in our country here of Rubibi, Nyambaburu Yaru. 70 years ago, to this day, to this hour, war came to paradise with the air raid on Broome. Today is a historic day in the annals of Broome's history and, and we gather to commemorate and to remember the fateful day of 70 years ago when war came to Broome. Looking out over beautiful Roebuck Bay with its peaceful, pristine, clear, blue water, it's difficult to imagine today what happened exactly 70 years ago. On the morning of March 3, 1942, nine Japanese Zero fighters and a reconnaissance plane swooped down over Broome in the far north of Western Australia, killing 88 people and destroying 22 Australian, Dutch and American aircraft. The attack was the second greatest wartime loss of life on Australian soil. The wreckages of Catalina flying boats remain on the seabed to this day, still visible on extreme low tides. Seventy years later, the people of Broome turned out in their thousands and were joined by guests from around Australia and the world for a solemn memorial service to mark this important chapter in Australia's World War II history. The event was held in Broome's Bedford Memorial Park, overlooking Roebuck Bay, where the attack took place. St Mary's College students performed a moving reenactment of the raid, and a long list of dignitaries laid wreaths at Broome's War Memorial. The day then culminated with a spectacular aviation flypast involving a variety of aircraft including a Qantas 717 jet, numerous small aircraft and three Hawk fighter jets from the RAAF No. 79 Squadron. The 70th anniversary commemoration was a chance for the people of Broome to gather and stand side by side with people from right around the world to pay their respects to those who lost their lives and to hear their stories of sadness, bravery and survival. Among those survivors attending the memorial service were brother and sister Ali Duland Coons and Peter Coons, child passengers on a plane destroyed in the air raid. So this is my mother's passport and we're going to give it to the museum as a, as a rendering of our family being in Broome. We're going to donate to the museum here in Broome and it was fished out of the water. Um, in my mother's bag, so they fished my mother's bag out. Now they got the passport they handed out. The rest didn't come, unfortunately. So, uh, <laughs> the little bit of jewelry that she was able yeah. to survive in the purse is gone. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, and a, the, and the, it went in the water, so the water. you could see it. It's all you know, all the stains. Stains from, from the water. From, yeah. Other survivors who made the journey to Broome included Hank Hesselow, who piloted the plane carrying Ali and Peter, and close friend Fritz von Holsen is credited with saving the life of a child during the air raid.
events of that fateful day some 70 years ago still live strong in the minds of the people involved and those who have come since. And each year, on the 3rd of March, the people of Broome will continue to remember all those who lost their lives to ensure that their sacrifice will not be forgotten.